Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you doing today? What's up, guys? Kanye West 5 here, playing the random ass freaking 53 card Mermail deck. So, well, yes, it's pretty crazy, you know. Uh, Mermails is quite notorious for being able to run like a million cards and still stay pretty consistent because the deck just thins so fast and pretty much any two cards can give you a combo. Anyways, playing against Clifford here. And he does not open Scout, which is pretty sexy for me. Um, I dig that shit every day, you know what I'm saying? Freaking Scout is ridiculous. Plus one every turn, no problem, you know. Um, but anyways, he tags into my Lind. I whip out Big Bad, they read. Oh my god. The leader, you know what I'm saying? Always gotta bring out the leader, because pretty self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? He's the leader. In this duel, you'll see just how good Big Eye is. Big Eye is just bodacious against Clifford. It's just ridiculous. So essentially here, I try to go for a Big Eye play. But first, I go into um, Abyss Pike so I can search an Undyne. And that way, main phase 2, I can also pick a card out of his hand. So that's so good. And here I search Genix Undyne, my main man, you know what I'm saying. Gotta search the Undyne because in case he has a scout next turn, I can just pop it with infantry or deal with any problem card really. Undyne is just ridiculous. Yeah, here I pick a random card out of his hand and hit the Regeki, which is just really fortunate for me. So I'm glad that was the right play. And then I big eye, you know. Take the Herix. Fuck you. And he scoops. So going on to game two. So we have the Andy Hera Prasad 911 watching this bullshit. I have no freaking idea why, but okay. Chill your nips. So I opened all right game two. Um, I decided to set the Regeki in alert because you know how these freaking Clifford players roll. You know what I'm saying? They freaking blind MST slash night beam the freaking shit out of you. And then you become the very sad boy. So I'd much rather him hit the dead alert or the Regeki instead of the solemn warning. So, well, yes. Fortunately for him, he does what the deck is supposed to do and searches scout first turn. Then here comes his infinite press one. So, well, yes. I did not open MST, so this scout's gonna stick for a while, you know what I'm saying? So, well, yes. He searches Sacrifice, just classic play. Absolutely classic, no surprises there. And then he goes for a Pendulum. Um, he summons Helix, and I decided warning here. Because if I don't warning, he's gonna tribute for some shit, and then I'm just gonna lose my back row, so there's just no point. And then now he randomly Night Beams. As I was saying before, you know how these Clifford players roll, you know what I'm saying? They just freaking randomly night beam the shit out of you. So he hits a Regeki, and I draw into a dead salvage, so I'm just kind of just grinding this shit out right now. See what the hell I can do. So my opponent goes for the scout search, I'm searching Clifford Carrier, and I have no way of stopping that unfortunately. And then he pendulum summons the carrier, no problem. And then he equips the Sacrifice to his carrier, and surprisingly decides not to attack the Lind. And now I have discard fodder for my Abyss Pike I'm about to whip out with the Lind. So I guess right now you could say it's risky because he could have the Vandy's Emptiness, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going YOLO, I'm going all in. If I leave that freaking carrier on board, next turn he's about to kill me, so I'm just going all in, you know what I'm saying? And it's pretty funny here. He goes freaking Mind Crush, which makes my salvage live finally. And I just add it right back. And yeah, things just go downhill for X, solo X from here. Activate Allure. Allure plus Undyne is just, just so freaking good. And then now I go for the Big Eye play, as I said. Big Eye, so bodacious. And I decide not to exceed here because I don't want him getting a search off Sacrifice. He's getting enough searches off Scout already. Like, damn, son. Stop searching your shit. It's getting a little, little ridiculous here. Let's, let's be real. Alright, so he MSTs his own Sacrifice, which indicates these are some pretty desperate plays. So, yeah, this is kind of a do-or-die situation, as you can see. So he Pendulums the Disc and Helix. He was definitely trying to go for the... Um, Pendulum summoning of the carrier, but he used all three carriers. One is on my field, one is in his pendulum zone, and one is in the graveyard from the warning earlier. So, we Gucci. So, he normal summons that big ass shell, and I take quite a bit of damage here. Quite a bit of damage. 
but it's okay because I'm about to get up in there up the freaking hairy asshole real hard right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, so Levier is gonna do the job. I bring back my poor Genix controller, which has been banished for so long, but you coming right back, you know what I'm saying, my little homie. And then let's just put it this way. That sacred tree gonna be protected real nice tonight. Real nice. Mm, okay, so I crash into the shell and attack for game. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.